The uh, military, really, and the Ghana Armed Forces intends to enforce stringent vetting processes for serving military personnel and prospective applicants. The strategy, according to the Director of Public Relations, Kenel Mbawini Atintande, is to brace up technological advancement and combat dynamics of crime and document fraud, bedeviling entry into the Ghana Armed Forces. Between March 2012 and June 2013, 19 people were dismissed from either the recruit training schools or after they had graduated for false documentation. Many of them have false attestation, that is they've been able to say who they are but this is false and somewhere along the line you may not be able to find that out but you'll find that out as time goes on because certain people will say I bet this man, I know this man or this certificate doesn't look like yours or is not yours or this is my certificate that you have stolen or something like that you must as a matter of fact you know show progress as you go on so if first day you come in and by the third week third fourth week three months down the line you're not able to show progress then it means that you're not the material suitable for for us he was hopeful the introduction of a strict vetting process before entry into the ghana armed forces would solve the problem one of our main requirements or responsibilities is to see how we can weed out bad nuts from our from our system and i think uh, somewhere last year we made it clear that we would start a regime of naming and shaming you know individuals in the armed forces you know, who for one reason or another are misconducting themselves or doing certain things that are unacceptable and which we know, you know, tarnish our image as a very uh, professional institution, a very credible one at that. And so as part of the process of the naming and shaming, you know, we intensify these, you know, processes so that we are able to identify those who fall prey. It was emphatic persons found culpable would be severely punished. But there are various uh, kinds of punishments that are reserved or that are allowed or that are in place for various kinds of offenses you know, as you commit them. I've been found to have come in with a false document and you are still in service, you'll be dismissed. When we declare you a war, it is clearly stated that everything that you have has to be handed over at any point in time when you are found. Kennel at Intande indicated the Ghana Armed Forces will introduce electronic application for prospective candidates for recruitment. We have not started recruiting anybody into the Armed Forces now. So maybe there are people out there who are, you know, going around and trying to suggest that, oh, I can help you to do this or do that. I'll buy the phone for you. Absolutely nil and it's false. We are not recruiting now. And anytime we are ready to recruit, we will advertise this in the newspapers. All right, we'll put it on our website, we'll put it on other platforms for people to see and hear and know that, yes, it is time for recruitment and all the residence requirements are put out there. This time, we're even going to go online. And so recruitment will now be online. You will not go buy a form at the post office or anything like that.